Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today this design is another balloon animal, which is going to be really cool. Uh, it's going to be the skunk. Yes, and I was thinking, should I keep going with quick link? I know not everybody has quick link. And you see, I have this question because at the end, no matter the balloons you have, you have to play with the balloons also you have available with you. If you have more balloons, of course you can have more choices. Yes, but if it's not, it's fine. Now, my intention, sometimes I'm trying to play simple, but other times I try to complicate myself only to make this fun. Because that's the idea about balloon twisting is to have fun and make balloon figurines, give it to people, make them happy. Now, this design is going to take you, well, I'm going to show you my first attempt, okay? This is my first attempt of a cute skunk. And I like it, yes. You see, you may think, oh, they're all balloons to 60. Pretty much, but for example, here to make this tummy, I'm using a round five inch black. And also to make this cheek so round and cute, there's also a five inch round. Now, if you have five inch round, it's really cool. And black is a basic color because you can use it also for wheels for a very easy, fast car design that, um, I had um, the class on Bling Bling Jam and that this last convention, and it was a really cool way to make a fast line twisting design. You just need that five inch round black. But this design, I'm thinking, why not? It looks cute, but then I'm thinking, well, there's two round balloons already for here and here. So you can avoid details. And I was trying to make it easier, and this came out. So, it's pretty much the head, the same idea. What it changed here is, look, now from here it goes all the way straight to no neck. So from the head, it come in the legs, no neck, so then the rest of the body, and this could tail. The good thing about this design is when you see it this way, you can still look in part of the tail, which is really cool. In this occasion, that happens too, but not that much. Maybe you have to make it just longer, but it's because only it doesn't have the neck. Now, I prefer with the neck because this perfume, look at that. I think it looks cuter with the neck. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix these two and make something cool, okay? Let's start it. Now, um, you will need, I think, only one balloon round black, okay? So the trick is, um, and I think it's more, uh, it's better when you have the cheeks. So what you need to inflate, it's a five inch round, blow them so it's flexible all the way, but then lose air until you have something soft and squishable that you can split it in half. This is like smaller than the palm of my hand and it's fine. And you can actually tie it all the way here, but if I'm thinking I want a neck, so you just tie it this way close to the nozzle because then you're gonna okay leave some neck you, it doesn't have to be that much maybe just like three bubbles three finger i mean and then the rest you're gonna split it in half this balloon is very soft and squishable so you don't have to worry now there's gonna be a small cheeks but it's fine you see if you can make it bigger it will be better but like this it's okay when you have this you can leave it for a moment or by holding it so it doesn't get and twist, you're gonna need the balloon to 60 black. So you're gonna blow them like leaving approximately three finger tap. Okay? So because we're gonna make a lot of twists with this, so so approximately okay, five finger tap. We're gonna hold this for a moment, or you can do this after using the black, it's fine, but I can always keep it, you see, you don't have to only use your fingers or your hand, you can use your chin, you can use your elbows, your arms, so it can be waiting there. You're just gonna make like, what is this? Three finger bubble, twist, one finger bubble, and then three finger bubble. You just twist this in half, I know I'm going like this time too fast to that design, you see, but that's good. So you have this, 
then you can start right now thinking, okay, I remember this guy is gonna have a little loop and it's gonna be like a two finger loop, soft and squishable, a two finger loop, soft and squishable. So we have pretty much this part of the mouse. Look, the mouth and here is the nose, okay? It's black, it's hard to see, I know, so this is what we have so far. When we are here, we're gonna need to make like a four finger loop. Now, you can wait and you, this is gonna be the moment that if you want, you can start attaching this. Let's do that. So the idea is this, have to go around. Yes, pass it around. Make sure this piece of the balloon round have to be in the bottom. And then this to circle to the sides. So you have something like this. Look at that. It's all black, it's hard to see, but now I already combined, so the cheeks of the round balloon five inch round are gonna be to the sides. And then here is that begin that is gonna play the neck. Now with the rest, we're gonna need to make all the way on top, we're gonna make to make like four finger loop. So squish, make one four finger loop, twist, and you're gonna make one more four finger loop. Okay, and then pass all this, and you're gonna end up with this. You have something like this, look. Look how cute this face is gonna be already. And this can be very cool technique to make a lot of different animals. Because the cool thing about making animals with balloons is you have to just consider changing colors and a lot of same techniques, maybe different sizes, it can play for a balloon animal uh, that it can be another animal like a cat because i can see a cat here it can be i don't know any other animal <laughs> okay so when you're here we are just need to go down to make you know the rest of the body so you can just be nice and gentle pulling this down but i'm thinking this way is going to already pass a white balloon from this side so this body has to be from the front. So what you need to do is take it to the front right here under the lips, okay? And kind of like make sure these two go down, these two go down to make the neck, you see, a little bit. It doesn't have to be that long. So just soft and squishable, hold it and twist it. Like no more than three finger long. So you have something like this, look. It's very soft and squishable, like two or three finger long. This is from the five inch round. This is from the 260. Then you're gonna meet together at the end, twist them, and then you have a neck pretty much. Love them. And now from here with the rest, you can now make legs. Now, four finger bubble legs, I think it's gonna be good. Another four finger bubble leg, and twist it together. Now we can go simple from here. Now make sure to put things in proper position so you have something like this. This is from the five inch round, and this is from the 260. Now you have all this, and it's getting a little bit tight. So you can, for a moment, wait here, or you can already measure four finger long, and then four finger bubble, and another four finger bubble. Yes, okay, let's try that. It's getting tight, so maybe you just need less balloon, so you can just, if this happened to you, you can always pop this part and lose some air so then it's not that tight. And you can always use your nails or you have one of these little things and just pop a little bit to the point here. And so that way you will have a little bit um, of air coming out um, slowly, which is really good. See, I can feel it's coming slowly. So. I'm just losing the air slowly while I'm keep making the design I have that is very simple. Legs. So you can already know the size. You tie it. And then the rest is just make it again. And finish it with a bubble. It's easier sometimes when you finish it with a bubble. Okay? This is the bubble. Okay, so you have this. Now that's all of a five inch round and a 260 black. So now what is coming next is going to be the white and probably, yes, it's going to be another balloon 260 black. Yep. So now let's go with white. You're going to inflate your balloon 260 white 
uh, like three finger pair, I think. Or actually, uh, let me think. Yeah, approximately, let me see. I usually inflate the balloons five finger pair. So that's good, the same as the black. Now here, this bubble from the nose, you have to pinch twist, so pull and twist. And it's a pinch twist. So you have there a pinch twist, and this white is gonna come from there and pull and pass this around and hide the nasal. Then you're gonna go all the way, but very uh, squishable because it's gonna be like a 160 idea to go from here all the way to here. Okay, from here to you. So that's what I'm gonna do is squish and pass it there. So I'm gonna squish it You don't want that to be that thick. I don't think it's good because it looks like you have a very small nose. Very cute, that part. What is that, mouth? Okay, so when you're there, you twist it around, you are coming back here. You're going to now kind of like go up like four finger long so I'm gonna squish them and make three pinch twists approximately like one finger bubble pinch twist one finger bubble pinch twist and another one finger bubble pinch twist with three I think it's gonna be cute enough so you have a little bit of crazy hair for the skunk there on top and then you're gonna go down with approximately four finger long all the way down to that connection for the neck. Things doesn't have to be perfect, you just try and do your best, okay? Then, you have to keep going with the rest of the neck, and this is kind of the fun part because it's just follow the black balloon, where the one balloon, the black balloon went. So, all the way to the back. So, this is the neck from the five inch round. So, you just squish and pass it. And this is gonna be the last balloon in that area, so it gonna help you to figure it out how straight you want the neck to be, like this or a little bit like this, so it's up to you, okay? So that means you have to you can pull this, look, if you make it longer, it's gonna be looking down. If you make it pull, it's gonna be so short, this bubble with the white, it's gonna make it look straight. So it's up to you. I'm gonna make it shorter, so it's gonna be kind of like soft and squishable, looking straight. Okay, so then, when you are there, you just squish, soft and squishable, and go all the way to this bubble, or the back legs. Soft and squishable, remember, it's better. So now you are here. Now this is already too long, and if you are ready from here, can save us uh, a balloon for the eyeballs it will be awesome. So I calculate like 12 finger long is going to be good enough. You two twist. Don't get rid of this because this is going to be the last detail. So from here you're going to make two eyeballs. Okay, so you just save a little bit like this for a moment. Save it. Make sure you tie this part. This is going to be the tail. Soft and squishable is going to be better. And when I say soft and squishable, I think that you can be able to do this. Look. Why? Because then it's going to be cool to bend it later, okay? A little bit of shape there. And you have this little bubble of the black. It's better if it's all the way here at the bottom, right there. Now, now you can see points of connection. And in order to make this more stable, I think it's going to be a good idea to have a second balloon to 60 black. So now that balloon black is going to come from here all the way up, down, and then up and down. Let's do that. So that's gonna be our second balloon to 60 black. Have it here. Now the brand I'm using is I think Decomex. Uh, I'm okay with that, but they don't stretch that much. Uh, so, but they're a thick balloon, so I guess it's not that bad. So I'm gonna squish about like approximately five finger tail. You start from the booty. At the end, remember, you can start from any point, you know, this is just some, so you have an idea. You start from one of the sides. In this, the center, it goes the little bubble from the legs. A little bubble. It's black, it's hard to see. So then you just go, and then around this white. 
So let's go. So I'm gonna squish a bit better. Bottom, 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 bottom. Now you are here, and now this is gonna go up, and then it's gonna go down. So let's go up. So I'm gonna squish a bit. The way twisted with the tail of the 260 white and then pass it around if you want you can make here and if you have an open loom you can make like three pinch twists or one pinch twist so to make it a little bit more pointy it's up to you so that's what i'm doing right now just three pinch twists and then you just go measure soft and squishable all the way down and end up to the other side remember this is the idea to also be able to make it a fast version so you can make it fast with the rest you just cut and make sure you have enough tip here to pass this around to tie it so it doesn't get a twist because there's not going to be another balloon passing around so this is going to be the last one and that well you have to make sure that is protecting everything else so so far this is how it's looking now it's a skunk and it's black um it's kind of probably hard to see it with the video but let's see if you can if you can follow this this you can always look grab this and bend it so it's easy for me this way bend it so that's where it's soft and squishable better and you just give it a, a little bit of bending that's gonna help this design to have a little curve there i think it looks cuter and if you feel well look it kind of cover everything but you can always place with the balloons to make it even cover more if you want you can open and introduce this white all the way here like this and you can give it this shape of more a curve if you want you see this is up to you but that's the idea pretty much you can i like the tail like go up it looks more cuter especially if you want to see it from the front you see part of the tail um now the design is almost ready remember i told you say this balloon is crap yes because from that you're going to split it in half pretty much to make eyeballs but the way i like to make it it's like this i make like split in half here like two finger bubble pinch twist not too tight so then the eyes kind of look roundish tied it two times so then it doesn't get a twist and it squish here a little bit doesn't have to be that much just a little bit there of squishing here and tie the other side so then you're gonna have these eyeballs while up oh, it's losing air i think i made a hole so you can always grab a balloon scrap if this happened to you don't worry it's just a balloon scrap and you're gonna do the same idea two finger bubble so and squishable don't twist it too much here don't pull it too much because i think it looks cute when it's more roundish squish the air a little bit a little bit and then make another two finger bubble not too tight cut the ex excess um leaving some teeth so you can tie it not too tight because you don't unless you want your eyes to be more rectangular you can do it too tight if you want round it doesn't twist that tight so you have this and there's this little space that is going to make a force in some way to put this a little bit closer all this loop so you're going to pass one of the eyeballs through this loop black this loop white and this loop black so let's do that mm -hmm. go from here the other one and the other one Remember, trying to make things not so tight is going to help you to dump up your balloons. Mm -hmm. So when you have that, look at this cool thing. Already eyes, face is coming out. Now, it uh, looks creepy like that. Uh, but you can fix that. Just pull a little bit more. And that force is also going to get... Now, another thing I did, I remember I introduced these loops, black, and inside the blue white why because i thought it looks cool so you can have more character uh -huh. yeah why not i mean 
Um, here you can play a lot of different ways, but I think this it looks really cool. I'm gonna show you how it's looking. I just like to kind of like see, uh, you're ready to be shown to everybody. The nose is a little bit tricky, you can always twist it to make it a pinch twist and, and roll it a little bit to make it more straight, but it's okay. So you have this. I know, I'm sorry, so black. Okay. Um, when you have that, now it's Sharpie time, very easy, simple. Um, you just make a circle, and if you want, you can leave a, a space without coloring. It's going to make things cuter. And then this, the same idea, you just leave a space, no coloring. And if you want to make it even better, you can grab, uh, you can leave it this way, or you can also, because it's all black, I think some extra detail, like for example, blue eyes or green, you can pass it around even brown, just a line around. Look at this, kind of give it a difference of your size, a little, little extra detail. And let's do the same the other eye. And there we go. With practice, you can be able to make this much faster. And the thing is, you can avoid things. You don't have to do sometimes everything. If you just make the head, this is what I like about this design, it's still looking like a cute skunk. Now here, there is a space. And why not to just find a balloon scrap pink and when I say scrap, it's like really a very small scrap. Like, look at this. It's a hot pink. It's a 160 or 260 works okay, fine too. Like, for example, this one is a 260 scrap. Very little. Look at that detail. So cute to have there. With Sharpie, maybe you can make some triangles upside down. It can be the tooth. And it gives it that detail, you see? So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's very soft and squishable, one and a half finger bubble. Soft and squishable. Okay. And tied it. And then you can leave a teeth if you want this to be attached. <coughs> or you can just squish in there. And by pressure of the other bubbles, it's gonna be able to stay there. So I'm just gonna open a little bit this amount, introduce in there. And to secure it, I'm gonna grab the teeth and pass it around. better of course look at that look at that thing oh man this is a very cool design i wanted so bad to make a cute scan long time ago and finally i made it another cool thing about this let's see if you, you like it this way so you should change this way uh maybe you can play a little bit more with that idea but sometimes i like to put it in the sides but it's just the head to creep so you can play with that in the bubbles to find a perfect angle um i don't know i think this design maybe you can play more and make it better but i think it's very very cute i'm sure if someone wants to scan and you make this they're gonna love it i love it i hope you do too don't forget tag me uh comment like subscribe to the channel it's a very easy way to support this channel and also if you want to collaborate with this channel and make it much better, on the comments of the on, on the description, uh, let me see if I say this better. Below on the description of all my videos, you will find their ideas how to collaborate with this channel. For example, I have my address. You can send balloons. You can send things to decorate the show. You can say things that it will be good idea for a balloon twister or balloon decorist because I do balloon decor as well. And um. What else? Oh, I have a Venmo account, a PayPal account. You can donate money because everything is very well appreciated. One dollar, two, three, four, five. I can, you know, enjoy a cup of coffee thanks to you. <laughs> I can also save money to get, you know, balloon equipment or, you know, or, or outfits, you know, to wear. Because there's a lot of things I wish I could have it, but of course it, it's money. So this is a cool way for me to um, accept all your donations, your tips uh, so I can you know afford those things another thing that I want to invite everybody it's the balloon no it's not a balloon I say balloon commission because I'm gonna be there making balloons but it's a 
Austin Convention for Entertainers, and it's happening from September 19 to September 20, 23rd or 22nd, but you will see there. The thing is, on September 19 is a very sp a special date because even if you are not registered to be part of this convention for entertainers, you can just assist to my class that is going to be happening on September 19. And there's going to be like a five hour class. I'm going to be teaching you the things you've been, you know, learning by watching these videos on YouTube, but more detail. And also all the tips I've been, you know, learning in all this experience. I have years of making balloons and I'm going to be happy there to answer all your questions and twists and jam together. So that way you will for sure learn because a lot of things I'm showing you on YouTube it's not the same when we are in person and I just feel it, it happens. Last time, bling bling jam. It's no, nothing like be in person and, you know, twist balloons with others at that moment. It, that, it's an amazing feeling. You will love it. If you can make it possible, if you live close to Austin, Texas, check out that convention for entertainers. It's not just for balloon twisters, it's for entertainers in general. If you want to learn face painting and I think how, you know, <coughs> perform. So that's going to be a very good thing. And it's more also like, like entertainers, like people that like to make balloons. We love to also entertain ourselves. And this is something cool. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm still a little bit bad with my voice. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. And um, see you next video. I'm posting almost every day. Wow, I have an idea to make fast line twisting videos too. Stay tuned.